Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to perform point on line staking. So what this allows me to do is stake a line at a set interval and with a set offset. And this is instead of either duplicating a line or partitioning a line, this makes it a lot easier to stake said line rather than doing it with a series of points. So what I'm going to begin here is I've connected up to a rover and I'm going to head to the right side of my screen right above where it says DGPS right now and click on standard measure and select my staking option and then stake line. You can see my current selection mode is set to figure slash DXF and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the line and you can see here that my line is currently running from right to left based on the direction the arrow is pointing, but I actually want to go from left to right as I'm closer to the left end of this line. So I'm gonna hit switch direction here. You can see that the line points now in the opposite direction. And when I hit okay, I'm gonna be brought to my line staking screen. And you can see by default, I have line staking set because that was what I was previously using, but I'm going to use this point on line staking option, the second option here. And what this allows me to do is set a station along which I will stake a point and an offset from the line that I am going to stake. So you can see here that I have an interval of five meters set. I'm actually gonna change my interval to 15 meters and my start point I'm actually going to leave as a zero. And I'm leaving it at zero because that's going to point me to the very beginning of my line. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave my interval set to one meter and I'm not going to stake any offset. You can see because the stake is set to zero meters, if I click left or right, it will add that one meter interval and stake off of the line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click stake point here and you're going to see that I've got a nice little arrow guiding me to the very start of my line. Now in the real world, I would obviously navigate right up to the end of the line, level up my pull, shoot my point. As I'm hooked up to the simulator, I don't have any actual control over where I move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit RTK fixed here to store the point, and you're going to see that it says tolerance exceeded. That's obviously because I'm well off of my line, but that's fine. For the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save point and raw data, and then hit store point here. And you're gonna see I'm now back to that line staking screen. And if I hit stake point again right away, it's going to take me back to the same point I just staked. So once I'm returned to the map screen, you can see that I'm actually being taken back to the exact same point I staked. And if I zoomed in here, I actually wanna be set 15 meters further up the line. I don't wanna be right at the beginning. So what I need to do is I'm gonna close this menu with the X at the bottom of the screen. That's gonna take me back to my line staking menu and what I'm going to want to do here is I want to hit next and that's going to add my stake 0 plus 0, 1, 5, 0 meters. So it's going to, it's added a 15 meter interval to my stake point and you can see if I'm zoomed into the start of the line again I don't see where I'm staking and that's because it's actually now trying to stake 15 meters further down the line. But for now that is everything in today's video that is how you use microsurveys field genius to stake points on a line using a set interval or offset. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.